Hi guys, welcome Hi. back to our channel. I'm Daniela. My name is Tian. And today we're doing a video on how we met. We've been getting a lot of requests to do this, so we're finally doing it. Um, so if you're interested, keep on watching. So I suppose we can start... Um, beginning. <laughs> the beginning. Uh, I met him when I was 19 and he was 29. And yes, he's 10 years older than I am. I feel old. <laughs> Um, but age aside, we met at work actually where I was working as a nurse assistant at a nursing home and he was working as a nurse. He still is working as a nurse. I'm no longer working as a nurse assistant. Anyways, that's where we met. I think I first saw him when I was working first shift and I saw you like, because you were working third shift. Yeah, I was working third shift. And night out. Yeah, and yeah. I would see him like clock out and go home, and I was like, "Who is that kid? Like, what is? <laughs> Who is that kid? Because <laughs> like he looked really young. Not that he look old now, but <laughs> but he always had like his backpack on and like his stethoscope, and like he would just punch out and like boop be out. So I'm like, "Oh, who is that? Like, I would just briefly see him, so I wasn't like aware of like who he was, what he did there. So I was like, whatever." Eventually when I shifted to night shift, I think it was like a couple months in is really when I started to like Know who he was and met him and stuff and I was like, oh, he's actually like really cute, you know, cuz like I'm into Asians and <laughs> He's cute. I was like come on look at his face. He's cute, but <laughs> anyways um, I think the first time I flirted with him is when I threw a pen at him do yeah, she did. I'm not quite sure where she learned these techniques from. Please don't follow that kind of technique because you mean, chances are you might blind her. <laughs> anyway, so she threw the pen at me and that's how she's flirting with me. Like, I don't get it. Like, what kind of flirting is that? Like, who taught you? I, like, <laughs> I don't... Like, I, so, <laughs> so, actually, it was... Who, who was it that initiates the whole process of like, you know, we should be going on a date and stuff like that? You, it was me, right? You, but like, when me. I started flirting, is like, I threw a pen at him and I was like, hee 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 hee. <laughs> Anyways, third shift is kind of when we really like started talking to each other, getting to know each other, but not like talking and like, oh, let's like go, um, like yeah. just like friends, friendly conversations, work conversations, whatever it may be. And so one day, okay, one day, <laughs> I got a text from him. Yes, it was me who texted her first. Yeah. I mean, it's, so my text was, you know, because I heard from the, the great vine that she, she loves uh, K-drama. So I decided to text her like, hey, I heard that uh, you like K-drama. Uh, and then she responded back. And I guess from that day on, we started talking about K-drama. Mm -hmm. And then we actually watched the same uh, K-drama show. And then we talk about it. Uh -huh. So from, from there on, just lead on to, you know, ask out for the first date and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And um, when he... <laughs> first asked me out, I was like, oh, this is just, it's gonna go nowhere, it's just a date, whatever. It's basically a park and there's like a beach there and you can walk around and they have like ice cream and hot dogs. <laughs> okay, we're laughing because he's like, do you want some ice cream? And I was like, oh no, I don't really care for ice cream. And he's like, okay, how about some hot dogs? I'm like, no, I just don't want any. I was hungry that day and my, my apparently my date did not want any, any hot dogs or ice cream. I'm like, okay, I mean, I'm not quite sure what's going on in her mind. I'm like, geez, I mean, is she like not like me or anything? Like, how come she not even like accepts my offer? Like, I mean... You offer me hot dogs on the first date. <laughs> well, I mean, it's Chicago style hot dog. You can't say no, okay? <laughs> so, so we, we ended up went to, to this bench and then so we sat down and, and looked at the, you know, the, the beach and stuff and the, the ocean. Wait, was there an ocean there? I don't mm -hmm. remember. Yeah. yeah, it was like a harbor. It, yeah, okay, yeah. And then... It felt, it felt very awkward, like yeah. I thought, you know, this girl actually, you know what, I think I might have wasted my time because she didn't seem to be interested in having a conversation with me, it wasn't that engaging at all. <laughs> Little does you know, I'm so <laughs> introverted and I was so scared and my hands yeah. were sweating, but... Actually, I didn't know that your hand was, was, was oh. sweating at that moment. Oh, so, so we were walking, we were walking because it's like, that's a very big area, so we were walking and then all of a sudden, you know, I, I became very bold, so I grabbed her hand and I held her hand and her hand was very sweaty <laughs> it was like I was like what is going on with this girl is he has some kind of medical condition <laughs> how come her hand is like so sweaty <laughs> oh my god well first of all the fact that you were bold enough to even hold my hands and the fact that I even allowed that well if you're gonna do that you probably run away 
<laughs> and then after like we're walking we're like getting to know each other more and more and then uh, once we it's like time to kind of go home and stuff and he's like oh have you ever driven a stick shift before i was like oh no he's like here you can learn today so he places my hand on the the knob and he puts his hand on top of mine i'm like oh, oh. take notes guys <laughs> Again, my hand is very sweaty. Uh, yeah, I mean. Oh man, I was like nervous. You know, I'm nervous. I'm shy. I'm scared. Like scared, not that he's gonna do anything to me, but I'm just like, what do I do? What do I say? But anyway, anxiety. Um, so he puts his hand on top of mine. I was like driving, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like hyperventilating and all of this. But um, clearly, in the end, it worked out because. Um, yeah, I asked out uh, second day and she just said yes. Third day she said yes. Fourth day she said yes. So okay, yeah, you know what? This girl into me. She's into me. Yeah, and that's and that's how we uh, we end up together. And um, we've been together almost six years actually. Yeah. Yeah. Quite some time now. So it all started out from work, you know. It, it, it all started from me throwing a pen at him, basically. And, and then, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it, it's pretty cool. You know, you do meet a lot of people. I feel like a lot of people meet each other, I should say, mm -hmm. you know, through work yeah. because that's the most time you spend, you know. Yeah, I mean, I think that's what it is because, I mean, you, you, when you go to work, you spend most of your time with the people that you're working with. Mm. And of course, at work, you have conversation and stuff like that. So you kind of understand a person's personality. And from it there on, you know, attraction happens and, you know, it's just, it just happens. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, what really like drew me to him you know besides his good looks he has a very charming personality and i really liked his like work demeanor and everything you know you, you well granted i mean I, I i am a very hot worker you are yeah that's I mean, why like yeah. i i you know i was like oh he's not a slacker he actually you know cares and is really honest with his work so you know that also drew me to him it's not just like looks but his personality as well so it was like a bonus um but yeah, basically, it, we met each other at work. Third shift is where it all goes down, basically. The moonlighting That's shift. Right. Is that what they call it, moonlighting? Is it? I don't know. A moonlighting. I, don't know. I have no idea. The graveyard shift, that's all I know. Graveyard shift yeah. where love happens, people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's pretty much... So what is it that you... That's, that's like, right. you know... So if you have to say one thing about me, like, you know, that... Annoying. <laughs> That's drawn me towards you. Like, I mean, what did you find? One thing the most attractive about me that day? Your or charming, you put... your charming personality. So it's not because of my good look that you know, love at first sight, right? It's just like taking time that you get to know me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch creeping me from far away. <laughs> Notice my personality. <laughs> okay, well, I didn't have love at first sight. I don't, I don't believe in that. I'm sorry, I don't. I mean, it might work for other people. It might work know. for other people, but I don't believe in that. I just think if you think someone's nice and you like them, you like yeah. them. I don't know. Like, I didn't, like, this This may come sound wrong and come out wrong, but, like, I never expected to even end up with him. True. I never thought of it that we could end up together someday. Right. Yeah. Uh, like, I thought I was like, oh, it's just, it's, it's going to be a date and whatever. And then, you know, like, six years later, here we are together, so... Mm. I feel like when you, you least expect it, things will fall onto your plate in a sense. Like you're not look like I wasn't looking for love or a relationship. It just kind of fell on me. It's just it just happened. And I feel like sometimes that is the most sincere and um, long lasting relationships mm, in mm, general. Yeah. Um, nothing wrong with like people seeking love and, you know, a relationship and nothing against Bumble and Tinder, but, <laughs> but sometimes organic um, relationships like that work the best in my opinion, so. Yeah, I mean, which is kind of true, and you know, like when you least expect it, it's just like, it's natural. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's um, mm -hmm. just different, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> love is love, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, love is love, no matter who you're with, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. that's pretty much how we met. Um, not really anything like that exciting. It's no, just... we we not uh, long. We never start as you know long distance relationship like most of the the couple um, out there. Mm, um, yeah. But it's just so like you know like would you imagine that? Come to think about like see, the star aligned together in a certain way. You know like I came from Vietnam and you came from Portugal. Mm -hmm. So I mean, who would have thought of someday? 
this Vietnamese guy would meet this Portuguese girl I know, at the workplace. I know. Like, <laughs> it's just so... It's, it's faith. You call it faith, yeah, right? Faith. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's definitely wild to think about it. Like yeah. two different countries, you know, clearly, obviously never met, nothing, nothing. And then we just end up in one place and we meet each other and then mm -hmm. we're together. I mean, it happens with a lot of people, but it's it, like, when it does happen, it's like, wow, it makes you like, think about it. It's, yeah. it's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Still don't care for your ice cream or hot dogs. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed our um, how we met video again. Yeah. Not that, not that exciting, but <laughs> if you found this to be pretty cool or exciting, you know, let us know. Um, comment down below anything, how you guys met. Also, if you have any questions for us, we do plan to do a Q&A, so if you have any questions at all, keep it PG-13 people, okay? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> the internet is um, a dark place. But anyways, if you have any questions, let us know down below. Uh, we plan to make a uh, Q&A video in the future, so let us know if you have any questions. So yeah. All right. All right, well, thanks yep. for watching. See you guys in the next video. Make sure you uh, subscribe and click on that like button so uh, you can follow us within the next video. Alright. Alright, take care guys. Peace. Peace. Bye.